Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're taking a closer look at a Bible that has, hands down, the largest typeface I have ever seen in a Bible. It's the NLT Super Giant Print from Tyndale. Okay, I recently did an unboxing video with four new NLT Bibles sent to me by Tyndale. And these are all Bibles that are part of the filament-enabled collection. So each one of these Bibles, it's, like, it's a normal Bible on the inside, but you can scan the page with your, your phone or your tablet, and it will open the filament Bible app, which is filled with study resources, devotional content, videos, music, maps, and charts. And it's, it's really cool. It's a great way to like carry all of that in your pocket with a tablet or a phone that sort of thing. I really, really like it. If, if you've not heard of that before and you're like, whoa, that sounds cool, I will put a link in the description of this video to my review of the Filament Bible app because it's really cool. But if you watched my unboxing video, you saw that when I got to this Bible, I lost my mind. I was like, as a matter of fact, let's go to the tape right now. Let's, let's bring the video in so you can see what happened when I unboxed this Bible. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is massive. This is hands down the largest Bible typeface I have ever seen. <laughs> See, it's like such a big, huge typeface. I was just like, whoa, this is massive. And you know what? I get a lot of questions from people about type size, about font size. There's a lot of people out there who reach out to me and say, hey, Tim, I need a larger typeface. It's, I'm struggling with reading some of these tiny, certain Bibles have little tiny typefaces. And people are like, that's not for me. I need a big typeface. Well, this is a Bible you need to check out. If you're looking for a great New Living Translation Bible and you want something that's easy to read, I mean, literally, I could hold this up. I'm a few feet away from the camera. You could have this on your phone. You could probably read what's on these pages right now. It's a massive, massive typeface. So I wanted to do a full in-depth review, an overhead video, so you could take a, a closer look at this and decide if it's something that's right for you. That's what I'm here to do. That's what we're gonna do right now. Before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, this is the NLT Super Giant, I love that name, Super Giant Print Bible from Tyndale. Okay, first things first, a big Bible has to come with a big box. There you have it, New Living Translation, Super Giant Print. This is the brown leather-like. They have a few different editions of this, but all the information. Here's the info about the NLT Filament Bible app right there. So you download it, you scan the page, and then you're ready to roll. It's really great, and then there, is the Bible. So this is the leather-like, their synthetic leather. Oh, look at that, it's a nice marble cover. It does come with a perimeter stitch around the outside. Looks nice, super clean spine. Tyndale, Holy Bible, NLT. Nothing crazy on the back there, on the inside. Paste down liner, brown on brown on brown. I mean, very, very nice, very, very simple. The size of this Bible is gonna be something you need to know. It's seven inches wide and 10 and a quarter inches tall. So it's a big footprint at the text block. It says two inches on their web spot, but I measured the thickness right here and it's about 1.75, 1.8 inches thick. So it's a big Bible. It kind of has a textbook feel to it, if you think about that, like a big textbook. One of the things I love about this Bible, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about this, but well, I can't open the Bible without showing it to you. So we're gonna have to do it. One, two, three, boom! Look at that huge typeface. It's massive. But one thing I was going to show you is it's got a Smithstone text block and it is a super, it's like I can literally fold this up like that. It's a, and I don't tell people to do that, but I just want to show you that it's such a floppy Bible for being as big as it is. I really like that. Okay, do a proper open up. Inside you get presentation page, title pages. There is your copier. I don't need to lift this Bible up because it already fills the camera. A few different editions down here that they talk about. Your contents, a note to the readers. Here's the information about loading the filament app onto your devices. Preface slash intro to the New Living Translation over here. Already, this, this type is big. This is not the 16-point typeface, but everything else is already big in this Bible. And then there you go, Genesis one, a 16 point typeface. Look at that. You can see it's line matched. The, the text on the other side of the page is matched up line by line with this. I mean, that's big, right? It's spaced really well. I'm a, I'm a couple feet standing above this and like 
massive. This is the largest typeface I have seen in a Bible. Now, on a page like this where it really fills up the whole page, that's a lot. It's it's coming at you. But like this 12 right here, I mean, that's got to be like a 40-point type. I mean, it's massive. So then if you see up here, there's this little symbol at the top of the page by the page number. That's where you scan with the app. And so if you're here in 1 Kings chapter 8, you scan that. It'll open up all of the information on the app that is related to this section of the Bible that you're in. Again, I have a video on that. So if you want to check that video out, look in the, descri in the video description and there's a link to that video. But and it's pretty simple, pretty standard. It is a red-letter Bible. Here we go in the New Testament, which is actually a pretty good red letter. I mean, it it blends in a little bit over here, but this is mostly red. I like that they do black verse numbers throughout the Bible, so you can still see the verse numbers when it's red. But looks pretty sharp. Poetic settings, it kind of takes up a lot of space when it's a poetic setting, but I like that versus keeping it paragraph. The big thing to know here is this is a big 16-point typeface. It's a big, large Bible but it still has a nice, soft, floppy feel to it. I think it feels like a lot of quality. And if you're looking for something big, this is a really great option. New Living Translation, so it's a modern, readable translation. At the end of the Bible, let's get to the end of Revelation 22. So it's a 2,000, by the way, 2,003 pages. So it's a 2,000-page Bible. So you know, like, a lot of Bibles might be 1,000 pages or 1,200 pages. So it's more pages. That's because the typeface is so big. Then we get the Tyndale Verse Finder. It's not necessarily a concordance, but it's very similar. So it's different topics. You can look up different verses based on those topics. So you have that, the Tyndale Verse Finder. And then I love that these filament Bibles come with a visual overview of the Bible. It's some Bible maps, yes, but also some charts. This is something, the description of the plagues in Exodus. Look at this, little diagram there, another map. Some visual art there to kind of help you see what's going on. What is this? The Book of Psalms. That's really cool. So it's like the different types of Psalms. That's really neat. Um, Ministry of Jesus. Another map. So there's a lot in, in back here. This is not 16-point typeface. It's the standard one, but it's on a big format because the pages are bigger. But again, boom. 16-point type. That's what this Bible is all about. It is not giant print. It is super giant print. <laughs> That's awesome. So there you have it, the NLT Super Giant Print Bible from Tyndale. Not only a massive type size, it's a pretty big Bible, but it's nice and floppy. The binding feels great. It's got a sewn text box. There's a lot to like about this Bible. If you have one of these, I want to hear from you, so leave a comment and let me know. If you've got questions about this Bible, drop those in the comments as well, and I will get back to you with an answer. If you'd like to purchase one of these, I'm going to put links in the description of this video so where you can pick up a copy for yourself and check it out. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. So if you're on one of those social media platforms, definitely come enjoy the fun that we're having. Just search for Bible Review Blog or click one of those links. Before we go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm here to help you find a Bible that's right for you. So check out my other videos, surf around, find some Bible reviews, some unboxing videos, some, some fun Bible-related content here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.